What are you? Welcome back to the Halt and Spark channel. Today we're playing Satisfactory. This is part 11, I think, to the series. And as you notice, just by that view alone, we are in a different place. This is probably going to be way better than the last place. I'm actually so hyped that we moved, and I'll tell you why. So, in the last place, the ores were relatively separated. I was looking at the Satisfactory map, totally didn't cheat at all. And, um... I was just looking at resources and the closest coal nodes and everything were relatively far. The land wasn't flat at all, so it was impossible to build, like, a nice factory. There just wasn't enough space. But, in this area, um, I've already started building the factory. There's a live stream. You can go check it, skim through it, whatever. I know a live stream's really long, so I don't blame you if you don't check it out. But, um, this place, this place is just way flatter, so we can build way more stuff onto it. Like, I got the power factory... Or the power plant right here. Uh, I got a research station. This is like my main hub area. And then down here, uh, to the right, we have the iron facility. Goes over into these chests here. And we have... I gotta check how many iron plates we have. So we got a nice bit of iron plates. I left the game running for a little bit. Just to let everything build up. And not only that, but the best thing is... Which we never got in the last world. Is this right here. 50 smart plating. You can see my very convoluted setup to make smart plating. It's not very neat, but this is the smart plating room. I have rotors here too. And I also have uh, rotors and reinforced plates. I might put a splitter onto it because both of these run into here. So I might put a splitter right here on both of them and then run lines up going to the storage facility over there. Might be the plan. I'm not sure. If you're wondering what we're going to be doing in this video, because that would be fair. Um, I'll show you now in a second. I got to go back to the man and I got the upgrade research So I'm gonna check that out first. Well, I'm looking at that the analysis of overclock production is complete uh, We also I did the uh, Fixmas calendar if you don't know about this thing you, you got like a few days to do it I think there's a Fixmas calendar and you can open all the numbers no cheating I'm, I'm gonna get rid of it, but you can open up all the numbers and you can get stuff from it and we got 22 overclocks so we're gonna we're gonna boost a little bit of stuff our current power what's our power right now uh capacity is 220 and our consumption is 40 so we can afford to overclock just a slight bit on a few things and one of which is definitely gonna be screws because screws are screwing us genuinely uh i'm just gonna check it real quick i don't know how much uh like rods like rods might be holding us back no nope, rods are not holding us back so we're gonna up to production at that times two. Requires 10 iron rods per minute. This produces 15. So we can afford to go up by one more. That's 20. Oh, okay. It didn't update. I see. All right, we're producing around the same amount of iron rods that we're consuming. So that's perfect. And now we are producing a lot of screws. So that should help us with our production of rotors and reinforced iron plates. This shit requires a lot so we're gonna have a lot more now, which is great. And the iron rods, we actually don't need that much. Oh yeah, what we're doing in this video. So, what I wanna do is, first off, get rid of these because uh, they're in the way. I wanna extend this and I wanna start going down. So down there, there's a geyser right there I can see, first off. There might be one over there that's not rendered in, I'm not sure. There's a wreckage right there, so we can look around. But yeah, I wanna move down there and uh, see if there's more resources down there. So I'm going to put like a basic foundation right there, and we'll make this into a hallway. So we'll put ramps going down here. Okay, I don't know what's going to be over here, but I just need to put the room there just so I remember. Okay, we can extend the platform to go over there as well. We're going to make a very physics-defying factory, but I'm okay with that. It looks cool. Oh, there's a monster guy right there. Okay, I got you. Well, we're not going to deal with you for right now. First, we're going to put the foundations down and go over to this place. Oh, there's a guy over here too. God, we can never escape. Okay. I'm gonna take some some pale berries and eat those really quick. We gotta prep to go into this battle. There's quartz over here, though. I've actually never found a quartz vein before in my whole time of playing. I guess that means I never got that far before. Alright, where's the alien guy, too? We gotta deal with you now. Well, it's still early. Not gonna be like the last world where we kept them alive for like... Oh, there's two of you. Oh, shit. This is probably gonna be relatively difficult. Nope. That's one. Oh, oh, it's very dark. I can't see. My monitor, like, can't pick up on the lower lights, I guess. Two of those guys are dead, which means this area is officially cleared 
4 extraction. I don't know what this is. What is, what is this? This looks cool. Like, really cool. That has a cool texture. Alright, let's make our way back to the house and get some more concrete because we're running low. That guy spot me down there? No, I thought he did. Oh, we can get the railgun and snipe him later. Actually, I'll tell you what we should do. We should get Mark II everything because these conveyor belts are so slow. Like, oh my god. This isn't too hard. Like, 50 reinforced... No, nah, let's let's go for it. Alright, so first off, we can, we can finish this almost immediately. Uh, the concrete's gonna be an issue. The reinforced plates will be the hardest. Also, wait, did that say work in progress this night? Oh, that's, that's so sad. It looks so cool. All right, well, we'll put it in the chest for now. What else was I going to do? Oh, yeah, get concrete and need 300 rods. So let's uh, let's do that if I can actually get it. Okay, there we go. You can take that 50 smart plating too and just let this keep constructing because it's getting pretty piled up there. Uh, what else do we need? So we got 50 smart plates. Now we just need concrete and we have 500. So that works perfect. Boom, just like that, we got Logistics MK2. Although I'm pretty sure everything uses reinforced plates, so it's gonna be, it's not that useful yet because we don't have that many. But we can make a reinforced plate factory. And, launch. We got it, Milestone we got reach. it. Oh, those are super useful. So, the stackable conveyor poles, you can, I, I use these a lot. Late game, I don't really find much of a use for them now. It probably, it's just cause like, you can't really diverge paths properly, I find. It'd probably be useful if you didn't try and sort your factory out like a maniac like me, but... Um, yeah. Like, we could run three of these on top of each other instead of doing this, actually. It probably wouldn't be too bad. Alright, you know what? In the meantime, uh, let's make a, our copper factory up to par. I don't know what I'm gonna call this episode, just like... Something new. I don't know. <laughs> like... I'm out of ideas. Oh, we do not have enough iron plates. I'm sure everybody's sick of me starting fresh by now. I cannot keep with the series for the life of me, but I have recently. So it's a uh, it's just like companies now. I get a, I should get rewarded for the bare minimum. Oh, you know what would be cool actually? It looks like this is made for people to go on. So let's uh let's see if there's anything on it. Hello. I'm going to steal you. Let's build a platform over. My curiosity is going to get me killed in this game like I already know it. I am going to die for such a stupid reason. Also, I really want to go down there. It looks cool. Ah, uh, yes, the power grid is broken again. Classic. Okay, we'll go back and fix it now in a second, but we'll get our, um, copper facility up and running first. But, one thing I always like to do with copper, because, well, pretty much every single bit of copper is a necessity. Uh, the sheets become really useful later on when it comes to, like, circuit boards and stuff. Um, so, I'm gonna split this into three, and we're gonna start building up our stock immediately. Also, if you're enjoying the video so far, please leave a like down below and subscribe if you want to see more like this. I always post video, like games like this and stuff. So hey, if you want to join the channel, you know, the daily, the daily grind, please hit subscribe and like. It'd be much appreciated. Alright, so the plan is we're going to run three lines coming from the copper facility, probably all on top of each other. And they have to go to these. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to set up a baseline of two blocks, or two walls tall because that should line up with that. And then we should be able to put floors down and guide the lines through. We can use the center cap that I made. So there's a center area right here and we can probably use that. So I'm gonna put a, put a floor down on the center area, but first we gotta put walls around it, just like that. And then we gotta do it over here too. So there's one and two. And then this should work pretty flawlessly. I hope so anyways. So we're gonna combine all three of these into one line. They're not gonna produce fast enough to uh, cause any problems anyways. So it's not really gonna be an issue. They'll all go to the same box. It's, it's not too big of a deal. I was gonna do all of them in, uh, in their own individual lines, but nah. All right, so that, so that should be that line done. And now it all goes to one storage crate for all the copper that we'll be able to access really easily. And uh, that is the copper facility done. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything else in this video if I keep at this produ uh, productivity rate, I won't have any videos to make. I'll be done in one video. So that'll probably be it for this video, but we got to start it up just to see if it works. But the best thing about the Northern Forest spawn location is that there's wood everywhere. Like, and I mean everywhere. Besides the trees, like we don't have obstacle clearing, so obviously we can't get those. But, oh, hello. But um, there's roots and you can actually gather the roots. Like. No, there's none around that tree. I probably gathered all the ones around here. Yeah, like, look at this. It's a root. You can pick it up. And then you get a lot of wood. Bauxite. Oh my god, that's... That's, uh, aluminum. 
It's actually awesome. I don't think I've ever found aluminum before either. But yeah, that, uh, yeah, as you can see, a ton of roots. I'm gonna go research that. That's that's nuts. Oh yeah, we got a lot of tickets too. Look at this. We got. Oh shit! I thought I had way more than that. Actually, oh, it was on my other person. All right. Well, it doesn't really matter for next uh, for right now. We can just go back and get it at another time. Like whatever. But um, all right. Let's make some uh, let's make some biomass and get this up and going. So the best thing to do too later on. We're not gonna do it yet because I'm running out of time for this video. I've been recording for over half an hour now, and I got uh, a few more videos to record tonight, so... But later on, we'll put this furnace inside of the, uh, inside of here, and then we'll have three there. Like, this isn't the most efficient way to do it, just so we're clear, but, uh, we will make it more efficient later on. Okay, everything's hooked up over here, and now all we gotta do is get some more wood, because I didn't get enough, so we gotta, I'll go get some more. More sand ore over here. I wish I had a use, man. It just looks too cool not to use. Alright, we definitely have enough wood now. We got like 300. Oh, there's another copper node right there. Nice, nice, nice. I didn't even know that. Oh, there's a big guy. Yeah, we should have a nice bit of biomass. Like, we'll be good for a while, let's say. Alright, we got them all filled up. And let's see. What's our capacity? Capacity is 250. Jeez, okay. And our max consumption is 142. It's kind of a waste though, so I'm gonna get rid of one of these. So our capacity is all the way down to 220. We actually don't need a lot of these going right now. Okay, our capacity is 160. If we go down anymore, we won't we won't be doing ourselves any good. So that's good. All right, are all these producing? We got sheets, cables, and wires. Look at that. We are going good. All this is working. I'd say the copper is not being output fast enough if oh 14 9 and 15 well actually we seem to be doing okay or maybe it's had time to stack up i have no idea i think it just had time to stack up all right most of our factory is too high now too just simply because i think it looks better but yeah that's going to be it for episode 11 i think i don't know it's one of them um but yeah thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i enjoyed making it and uh, if you liked it, like I said, leave a like down below. If you want to see more content like this on the channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell to stay notified. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.